So all the way back in October, I built this program that automatically generates videos for free based on the words you say. I haven't made anything with it since then, but I thought I'd just share it on YouTube. Um, it's pretty janky, obviously, but I think it's kind of interesting and it's fun. Um, I can say anything right now and it'll put pictures to my words. So like a bean burrito or a Taco Bell or a Ferrari 458 or a walrus or a cephalopod or COVID-19. Anything I say, it'll put pictures to it and it's kind of fun. So I'm going to go through how it works. Um, but if you want to install it, there's a GitHub link in the description. There's a few setup things you have to do, but once you do those, um, you can automatically generate YouTube videos on your computer. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna show you how it works. So to control everything, we have this handler function. We basically get inputs from the user. We create a temporary directory. We prepare the audio for the Google speech to text API. We call that API and get back a list of words. And then we build a video with that list of words, creating a frame for each word and uh, producing all the frames and then calling FFmpeg to compile that into a final video. And we remove the temporary directories and then we log the path to the final video. The process audio function basically just converts the audio file into a wave and then sets it to mono. Um, this is what the Google Speech-to-Text API accepts. And the Google Speech-to-Text API is a little bit longer um, basically, uh, if it's longer than 60 seconds, we process long running speech, and if it's shorter, then we just send the file over the API. Um, but to process long running speech, we have to upload the file to a storage bucket so that the API has access to it. Um, and once we do that, we get the final link. Uh, we configure the uh, long running speech API. The hertz needs to be set manually, that's kind of a dumb thing, but whatever. Then we call it timeout at 90 seconds, but if it returns a result, um, we return this word list uh, and basically re we remove all the stop words. So like the, them, uh, it, like things like that. Um, and then so, yeah, so then we can build the, the video file. Um, basically to build a video file, we create a temporary directory and then we create frames and that's this function. So we get the time code for the first word, and up until that, we just fill it with uh, black frames, so it's just empty. And then we loop through each word, and we get the basically the range from that word to the next word. And for that range, we create uh, we create that frame, uh, that collage basically, and then duplicate that frame for that range between that word and the next word. And um, if there is no frame that it created, we just fill it in with black. So this create frame function, um, basically we have a query that we format, um, we create an image directory, um, and then we call Selenium, which is basically a browser automation tool. We call it as headless because we don't want to open the browser up. We call Bing because Google has problems with uh, web scraping, um, and then we get all the elements with this class name tag. Um, then we get the source for each of those images and we append it to this list. And if we get images um, from that query, we download each of the images, create a temporary file name. If it's a base64 image, we convert that and then download it. But if it's not, then we get a request as a stream and we write that stream to a file um, and save that file. And this is a download base64 image, it's very simple. Um, so then once we got all those images in the temporary directory, we create this collage. Now, I'm not gonna go through this function, but basically we just loop through um, all the images in that temporary directory and place them around into a blank image. To sum it up, based on how many images there are, we create an average block size and basically center those images um, vertically and horizontally and put them next to each other in a grid pattern. It's very simple, but it took a while to figure out. <laughs> so once we create a frame, we return that frame to the build video function. Uh, we duplicate those frames for the period that that word is being said and um, then we, that's put into the final frames uh, temporary directory. And then once all those words have been done and created frames for every single word, we call FFmpeg to turn all those frames into a video and put the audio underneath it. And then we have a final video file and we can go back to the handler function um, and delete those temporary directories. And then the process is done and that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm.